reciprocity, sowing and reaping. Uh, I think that's probably, you know, the most important thing, you know, understanding that to do anything extraordinary, you're going to have to do extraordinary things. Uh, and I talk about this all the time, about this word extraordinary, and that if you want to live an extraordinary life, the only way to do that is by doing extraordinary things. It doesn't just happen by chance. It doesn't happen by luck. There is no such thing as luck. Um, you create your own luck uh, by putting yourself in a position um, to reap the rewards and reap the benefits of what you have sown, um, reap the harvest of what you have sown. Uh, but the the encouraging part about that word extraordinary is that if you break it down in those two phrases, extra and ordinary, that it's not doing some incredible things. It's not doing some mind blowing next level, like you're the best at this. And that's just like, you're, you're the king of whatever it is that you're doing. It's just doing ordinary things, ordinary things, regular things. But it's the first part, it's the extra part that makes all the difference in the world. It's doing extra ordinary things. Extraordinary. But in everything that you do and throughout your day, hundreds of times throughout your day, if you just asked yourself, what would the extraordinary version of me do in this situation? And you can ask yourself this hundreds of times a day if you really if you really thought about it like like when your alarm clock goes off in the morning you could ask yourself what would the extraordinary version of me do right now would the extraordinary version of me hit snooze and and keep sleeping or would the extraordinary version of me wake up and and hit the ground running when you hit that lull in in your day and and you, you're just losing focus or maybe losing motivation to get anything else done what would the extraordinary version of me do right now? The understanding of knowing that hard work is required to do anything great. That there will never be a harvest unless you have spent massive amount of time sowing those seeds. And on the reciprocity side is just like understanding that if you're doing good with the right intent, that at the end of the day, good things are going to happen. That's as universal as you can get. Like, if you're a good person doing good things, like consciously doing good things, like proactively doing good things, helping people, providing value to people, it's always gonna come back to you.